हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक इन कूल आईटी हेल्प दिस इज न्यू वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल ऑन सेलेनियम वेब ऑटोमेशन द एजेंडा ऑफ दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू डाउनलोड ऑल द इमेजेस प्रेजेंट ऑन द वेब पेज विद द हेल्प ऑफ सेलेनियम स्क्रिप्ट सो आई हैव रिटन हियर द इंप्लीमेंटेशन स्टेप्स व्हिच आर वेरी स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड फर्स्ट वन वी हैव टू विजिट द पेज विद द हेल्प ऑफ ड्राइवर डॉट गेट एंड देन द यू after that once the page is loaded we will try to find all the src from the img tag basically we are trying to find img tag with the help of find elements method once we got the list of all the img tag we will fetch the src from them and then in the fourth step we will traverse this list and we will pick one src at a time and then we will visit the page and we will download the image and save on the disk okay so i will use image read and image write operation here in this implementation i will explain you let me take you inside the eclipse so guys this is the eclipse and this is the same project which i have used in my previous five tutorials of the selenium automation you can see at the line number 24 we are visiting that page www.coolithelp.com now this is the uh, website and you can see this is the page and uh, this is very lengthy page and we have so many uh, images present on this page so we are trying to download all these images with the help of this single selenium automation script now going back here in the eclipse so we will follow step by step which we have written right here so first one is already there using driver dot get to visit that web page after that we will write code to fetch the img tag to search the img tag on this web page this is very simple i have already written the code and i will paste line by line and i will explain you so here is the code to search the elements on that page now the target is img tag so we are using driver dot find elements after that we are using tag name from the by class and then we are passing img because we are going to get src inside the img tag that's why we are using tag name at this place okay so this method find elements will return a list from the page and uh, the next two activity is we are storing inside the list okay and then after we are traversing the list and we are picking one src at a time and then we are downloading images and saving the images on the disk so i have the complete code written in a loop so i will copy it from this place and i'm putting this right here now you can see at line number 29 i have used one count variable as a integer and this will increase because we are using it to give a new name of each file so we just use count and we will append in the name of the image now the important line is line number 32 at line number 32 we are picking one element and then we are fetching the src attribute value from that element once we get the src that means we are getting the url path of the image after that we are printing right here at line number 33 to test our path on the console after that we have done one more important thing at line number 34 we have to convert this normal path to a java url with the help of this url class this class is from java.net 
Once we get the image URL object, we will use the buffered image class to read the image. As I have told you, we are using one read operation. We are going to write this in the second operation. You can see this is the image IU class and uh, we have the read method. This is the static method. So we have simply called it and now we have to pass the image URL. Now we will get the buffered image object for, with the help of this URL. Once we get this image object, that means image is read from the uh, given web URL. Now this is stored inside the save image object. Once we got this saved image object, we can use the image io dot write method to write this on the disk. Now you can see at line number 39, we have write method and we are passing three arguments. First one is the buffered image object. Second argument, which is the type of the image. So we are uh, going to save as a JPG. You can use PNG as well. In the third argument, we have to give the file name as well as the path. In my case, I am using the same project folder to save all the images which are present on this web page. Also, I am using a count to pro give a name to image. So each image will be given by a name as a count like 1.jpg, 2.jpg, 3.jpg and so on. In the next line at lim line number 40, we have just increased the count. That's it. This is saved and uh, build is successful. Because I have set the auto build enabled. Now I'm going to run it. Right click run as Java application. And here we go. You can see some progress in the console. Now Chrome driver was started successfully. Finally, this has launched this Chrome. And you can see a URL is loaded and web page is visible now. Once all the images loaded on this page and uh, our code at line number 30 will execute and this will download each image one by one. You can see the progress in the console. This will not take much time if you have a powerful internet connection. So this will be very easy for you. I hope all the images are downloaded. Now we will check by refreshing this uh, project folder. Refresh. Now you guys can see image one. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I think 25 images downloaded right here in this folder. Now let me check you inside the project folder and I will show you the images. Go to the right click on the project then select here, click here. And then uh, the project folder will open. Go inside the project folder and you will find all your images. You can see. All images are downloaded successfully. Now let me show you all the images. These are the all images present on that page. Okay guys, in your case if you want uh, to change the path, so give a particular path to a folder to download all these images in that folder. So you can do the change at line number 39 and you can give the file path with the help, uh, with image name. So this is the basic code. You can do some correction right here as per your convenience. So guys, this is the complete script which is working properly. I hope you guys found this video tutorial relevant and useful. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel. And for now, Thanks for watching. Cool IT help.